let's see if I can do this video without editing. I'll do it in a single filming. If you're not seeing this video, it means that I failed. Anyway, you might have seen my previous video, which was quite popular, about these batteries, 18650s, and the charger. I got a cheap pack that included the charger, which ran off 5 volts from this USB connection, and had 4 batteries supplied. I don't think they were up to the 3600 milliamp hour on them. I could run the FT817 for about two hours, and I'd say it's probably only maybe two amp hour is their real capacity. Anyway, someone in the comments said, okay, it'll be interesting to have a look inside this charger. What is actually in it? Is it just some resistors, LEDs and twisted wire and sawdust, or maybe something a bit more intelligent like the proper circuit board and regulated charging etc so today in this video we'll have a look firstly get the batteries out four screws which is a good start otherwise with some of these plastic things just trying to get hammers and tongs and trying to split plastic open Nope, four screws. Now, is there any more? It's still not, oh no, it is coming. Feels like there's something here in the middle. I will see. Maybe, maybe. Now this is a trick. I have mentioned it in a previous video, but when you work around, you can see the edges are coming apart, but not the middle. And very often that means that there's a screw in the middle, and it's probably right under this label. So let's have a poke in here. Maybe this label comes off. Well, the edge of this label is slightly not aligned to the impression in the box. So I'm hoping I can peel it off. If not, I'll try and fish around for a hole in the middle. Or maybe there's some sort of stopper. Uh, stopper. Now I could either keep pulling it and I might break it. Just moving it like this. It does seem to move a little bit. Is there anything in here? No, it's a silly idea, but what if I put the batteries in? It's not helping. Oh, I did manage to peel the edge of this label. Well, the stickiness of it is quite good quality. And, sure enough, there is a screw underneath.
and this is what is inside. Well, it's a good start. Each battery has its own IC. And each IC has three parts attached, three little surface mount parts. Now, there's two other little screws here. Now, I will just bring this closer to the camera so you can get a better view. I don't think there's any readable writing on the ICs. other screws now that is loosening the board The LEDs have come back from the panel. The contacts have blobs of solder along here and the blobs are of different size and it's not the perfect soldering I'll hold it up to the camera closer later on but if this is going to fail then I think these blobs will be a weak point and the contacts well they're just bits of metal touching and these won't be the most conductive metal, not copper. I'll just give you a closer up. Now we'll see if we can see what's on the other side of the board. You can probably just see inside, there's the LEDs, 3mm. Anyway, it's probably hard for you to see it on the camera, but there is some writing on the top of the printed circuit board, but no other parts. The cord anchorage is just, you know, the usual thing with small appliances. Off topic, I have been busy on another project, actually another book. If you fish around my website, vk3ya.com, you'll, you'll find it, or ak3ya.com, which different domain name, but you can still get to my website, and that is quite relevant to the 
book um, available as an ebook. I haven't done a video mentioning it, haven't done any mention of it on Facebook or anywhere else, but if you're in the United States, then this particular book I think will be of general interest, especially if you're getting into amateur radio. So, yep, it's a new book. I've been spending a lot of time over the last 12 months or so writing and editing it. And if you know where to look on Amazon, you'll find it. I'll say more in future videos, no doubt. So that's a look at this USB charger. It is fairly basic construction inside, but not quite as bad as I or others might have feared. And it seemed to work satisfactorily with these batteries that I tried. So that's it with this video. Hope you enjoyed it and glad I got through with no editing.